Welcome, my name is Taylor Bell and this is the World Tech News and Talk and a uh, couple of uh, headlines that was leading the uh, tech world today is that Apple is planning on releasing um, Air, Air, um, AirPods SE, a cheaper, more inexpensive version of the AirPods. Now, Apple's looking to hit around the less than $100 price point, so I'm sure these will come in at around $99, something like that. Release date is um, around June, around WWDC um, 23, which is, uh, I think is in um, June. Now, it will have most features that the more expensive AirPod Pros, and it's going to have a similar design to the AirPods Pro, AirPod Pros. Now, it'll be missing like the spatial audio and stuff like that that you get through your iPhone, but uh, rumor is is that it will have a uh, newer Bluetooth 5.3 technology, and it will still be um, like IP67 or IPX rating, which makes it basically sp uh, splash proof. Um, but you can expect a more cheaper, inexpensive version of AirPods coming around the middle of the year, this year. Um, another another news uh, that was making headlines today is the Pixel Fold. Now, I'm not sure if many of y'all know that Google has been uh, designing a foldable. Um, it's going to be not like the Galaxy Z Flip 4, but it will be like the Z Flip Three, where it opens this way and where it does not basically it's, it's basically not the design of this that folds it's the design of a tablet that folds um, Google is they were expecting it to be released in May when Google has their IO in May where they release like the the a series um, pixel but they are now expected to release it in the fourth quarter of 2023 uh, which is basically when the their flagship pixels come out. Uh, if you're if y'all are not aware, the uh, flagship pixels come out. I think in uh, was it around October, around Halloween is when they always release them. And this is when I got uh, this Pixel Seven Pro. So alongside with the new Pixel Eights, you will see the Google Pixel Fold. Now speaking of Pixel, the January security update is out. And it doesn't have a lot of bug fixes. It's actually rolling out right now. Um, can't wait to get home to download it. But um, it has minor bug fixes. Um, I can, I'll can i post them in the description. But um, it is rolling out right now. So if you do have a Pixel all the way from up to the 7 Pro, down to the Pixel 4a, you will get this security patch. Um, check your device right now if you do have a Pixel. Also, Pixel News there have been leaks of the Google Pixel 7a that have hit the internet. Um, there is a leakster out of the Philippines. It's interesting because Google has chosen the Philippines for the construction manufacturing of their uh, Google Pixel for the last couple of years. In the last couple of years worth of leaks that have come out have been from somebody in the Philippines. So it looks like whatever plant they are producing these devices at somebody's uh clocking out with a pixel in their pocket and looks like they're taking it home and putting it up on the internet i'm assuming that's what happened that that's what happened but the 7a they the leaks that did come out it was about a one minute video showing the design looks exactly like a pixel 7 um still has it's, it's still rumored to have the tensor chip 2 which is a and a really really good chip uh battery life is is awesome on my pixel it'll have the same same uh, 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 silicone that's in the Pixel 7 and Pixel 7 Pro will be in the 7a. Now, one big major upgrade that a lot of people are disappointed about, and even I was because I bought one and um, sold it after about a week of using it, was the 6a only had a 60 hertz refresh screen rate. This new leak that just came out confirms it has a 90 hertz refresh rate. So all Pixel fans re will rejoice, and um, it'll be it'll be widely accepted uh, and much more used. Um, I, I just can't do 60 hertz anymore. I mean, 90 I can definitely do 90, uh, but going down to 60, 
No. Um, the Tensor 2 chip is, is pretty big. It's not the most powerful chip you're going to find. Uh, they, they more focus on AI and stuff like that. Um, but it was real choppy, I noticed, on the 6A with the 60 hertz screen. So it's, it's a pretty powerful chip. Not the most powerful, but pretty powerful. And when you pair it with a 60 hertz screen, all your operations that you do are real choppy. And Pixel, this Pixel is the most smoothest, fastest phone I've ever used in my life. Period. This Pixel, uh, Pixel 7 Pro. And when they bump up their 7A to this 90 hertz screen, it's going to be buttery smooth. It's going to have absolute great um, usability. Now, there were not any other leaks as far as specs and stuff like that. So uh, they are anticipating, which I hope they put eight gigs of RAM in their base, because uh, the last few years they've only been doing six gi uh, gigabytes of RAM. You really need eight base level eight gigabytes of RAM for any Android phone. I prefer twelve. I won't buy a phone, or I guess I won't really use a phone unless it has twelve gigs of RAM. Um, my Note has Galaxy Note has twelve gigs. My Pixel Seven Pro has twelve gigs. It's just that time. I mean, it'll. I usually average about seven, seven point eight to six point five gigs of uh, usability of usage while I'm using the phone. So when you're bumping up right on the maximum level, your recents menu and your, you know, it's just you really need twelve right now. But I can do eight. So, um, so, anyways, that'll be a, a, a nice uh, and and that's supposed to be released in May, I believe. So here in just a few months, four, four or five months, something like that. And um, the very last thing I wanted to get at is it looks like the EU, the European Union, is going to force Apple to put USB-C and all other manufacturers on all electronic devices starting in 2024. They are pushing USB-C plugs for every electronic device just make everything USB -C, uh, USB type C which is awesome for me everything I have in the house is USB, USB type C um, they are forcing Apple starting next year to make all iPhones USB C and uh, Apple is apparently going to be using USB type C in all iPhones starting next year and then they are, from what I heard, planning on a workaround of that. So the iPhones released with USB Type-C next year apparently will only be for like about a year or two. Because after that, Apple wants to go all wireless. Now that means there will not be a charging port. They are going to go all, all in on wireless charging on their iPhones. I don't know about AirPods and... Um, um, uh, iPads, I don't definitely don't know about MacBooks, probably not. But all iPhones, that's the biggest item they sell, the biggest SKU, the biggest, the, that's the biggest number of SKU uh, units that they move are the iPhones. So it looks like the EU is finally starting to push, force Apple to, hey, you got to put, you got to get in with it because it is a pain in the butt when you have an Apple device and oh, you got to rummage through all your cables and stuff like that. Just to find one that'll, uh, uh, to just to find the right one. So, overall, it's a good thing. I'm just surprised that the EU um, is basically, because what they told Apple is, look, you have to use these USB-C chargers on these devices, or else you cannot sell them here. They've literally put drawn a line in the sand, um, and that is a huge, huge chunk of Apple sales, iPhone sales in the EU. All those countries over there, it's. Look, could they survive if they stop selling iPhones over there? Sure. But do they want to? No. They want everybody in the world to use an iPhone. So they're probably going to say, well, look, we were we had planned on moving to all wireless charging iPhone devices by, I don't know, 2027, 2028. And they're probably going to say, look, let's just change it to USB Type-C for a year or two. And then boom, let's just hit the all wireless thing a couple years early. So I'm sure they're working on it in, in, in the background. Obviously they are. Um, but it's just interesting to me seeing that it's it's going to be the EU, European Union, basically forcing Apple's hand and making them use USB Type-C. Wireless charging is cool. I use it. I Not all the time, not every day. I, I typically plug my phone in because I, like I was talking on, on yesterday's 
uh, a video that the fast charging is awesome uh, with these, these Android devices. If they can get wireless charging to charge your phone from zero to 100 in 30 minutes, 30 minute, probably not 30 minutes, but like 45 minutes, that'd be awesome. Because like right now, I think the fastest charging Android device wirelessly is the OnePlus. I think they have a fast wireless charger, which does it in like 45 minutes. So if, I, if, if Apple can get it to around, plus in two or three years, technology will get better in between 30 to 45 minutes per charge. I think that'd be awesome and you will not hear, of course you're going to hear the complaints, but I don't think it'd be that bad. So um, that's the news for today and I appreciate it and I'll see you tomorrow.